connection. I say, just going off of Coach Roof, I already knew my head coach, and and referring to Coach White, he already knew my head coach from high school. So the kind of connection was already there. So once I hit the portal, they was already on it and stuff like that. Um, and then it was just like so much enthusiasm to just get me here. And a lot of the stuff wasn't even about football. So, and that was really one of my, like my main things. Like after, of course, you know, you don't play football for the rest of your life. So, and I think that was one of the most important things to me that would make me want to choose OU because it's like life after football is then what? Can you come back to these coaches? Can you come back to the facility and still feel welcome home and stuff like that? So I felt like it was a no brainer. And of course, we had Oklahoma. So the football aspect is always going to get taken care of. But for the most part, it's definitely like that mutual connection that me and all the coaches have. Like my first, my first time getting on the phone with Coach, Coach Roof and Coach BV, Coach Roof called me and he passed me the phone to BV and we talking for hours just talking about life. And the last 10 minutes we talk about football. So it was like that kind of threw me off a little bit because it's like a lot of times people just talk about football. So I definitely say like that mutual connection to life itself. But as far as the football goes, how do you, what, what do you feel is it about this defense that uh, you know, works for you in your game? Um, they let you play loose. They, of course, they don't want you to be a robot. Of course, they have certain techniques and certain variations to how they want stuff to do. But of course, at the end of the day, you are a football player. Like they, they push the fact that Coach Vala say you are not a corner that plays football, but you are a football player who plays corner. So it's like he wants you to have the scheme of the defense or play within the scheme of the defense, but also go make a play. If you see it, go ahead and rob it. If you, you, you know, like, just really just be a football player. And I feel like you can definitely, I feel like I'll definitely be able to do that here. I done made several plays and stuff like that. And that's definitely great coaching, great calls and stuff like that, according to Coach Roof. And, yeah, for, for the most part, it's really just being a football player. And I, how anxious are you just to get on the field? I know you had limited opportunities at your last place. Just to play and contribute more, how excited are you for that opportunity? I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm hungry. I feel like I feel like this is the time to actually like really make a name for myself. And if it's if I don't, it would be on me if I didn't like live up to this opportunity. Because it's not like they're not giving me a chance. And Nobody's a starter right now, and it's no no depth chart, no none of that. So, Coach Vela, Coach Venables, Coach Roof, they all giving me a fair shot to actually do what I can do. So, I'm hungry. I can't wait till Saturday. <laughs> how, how difficult was last year? Um, I say it was kind of it was kind of difficult because it was some more personal stuff going on in life, but. I definitely say like it was, it was, it was okay. It was okay. How did those experiences last year shape you, make you better, tougher, stronger, whatever? Yeah, it made me men mentally strong. Like it definitely taught me like how to really be a man. Cause of course you're a freshman. You're not. You going into college. You don't know what's going on. You don't know what type of adversity it may hit and stuff like that. So just going through that my year, that that year alone helped me a lot. How do you feel like you grew as a player while you were there? Crazy. It's just understanding defense. Defense ain't just, oh, it's just not just one coverage and you do this and do that and boom. It's just, nah, like you really got to understand, like, why is this? Why are we calling this play? Why should you jump this or something like that? So it definitely taught me a lot within the game in just one year. You mentioned kind of all that you don't know when you show up somewhere as a freshman. What is the perspective you have now? do for you as you kind of jump into this new situation? It's like you've been here before. It's kind of like, of course I'm a sophomore now, but it's like you're a veteran now. So a lot of the stuff that you see or a lot of plays that's been played before or stuff that's been seen before and stuff like that, it's like it's not new to you. So it's just like you really just got to play with confidence and 
Just be like, oh, I've been here before. Just one more play. Why not one more play? Hey, oh, sorry. Let's go. Hey, you mentioned him a couple times when I asked you about Jay. What's it like playing for him? What uh, stands out to you? Crazy. <laughs> um, I love him, though. I don't like him all the time. But <laughs> <laughs> I love him, though. Uh, he be on me all the time. I feel like he's been on me the most. But I definitely see, like, he sees passion in everybody. So the same way he going to coach me, the same way he going to coach a walk-on or somebody that just feel like they nobody because it's like everybody can really change their ways and change their life around if you really choose to. You we talked to Jay. He's always talked about you playing big because you are bigger than most corners. Uh, talk about that a little bit, your style of play. And when he gives you that, you know, that saying, hey, play big, play up your size, you know, how does that make you do that? Help um, you do that? You just say, like, play with grit. Of course, my last year, I honestly say I wasn't playing with the same grit I had this year. So when he say, like, play big, it's just like, just kill everybody in front of you. <laughs> I mean, I am I'm 6'2 and 200 pounds. Why not use all of it to my advantage? Right. You, Woody Washington, obviously, is another cornerback you play with. How much have you leaned on him to kind of help learn I guess the position since he's been, you know, he's what, I guess a year or two older than you. Have you have you all kind of worked together, learned, watched film together, just kind of leaned on each other? Yeah, me and Woody is, me and Woody tight like like this. So my first day here, me and him caught a strong connection because it's like, it's been not, of course you will know that I'm coming for a position and stuff like that, but it's like we all here to work. Mm -hmm. So the same way you're going to help me, the same way I'm going to help you. So. I definitely lean on Woody a lot. And going back to Jay and that energy level that he projects, <laughs> is there a, a, a moment or a, a time that you can think back of when you realized, hey, this guy's maybe a little wired a little bit differently? <laughs> um, first day of spring ball. <laughs> um, that kind of was calm before spring ball, but as soon as I seen somebody do something wrong, he snapped. I was like, oh my God. But yeah, he's a little wired. I, I'm going to a word, a little wired. <laughs> kind of in a similar vein, there's the Coach Venables that you spoke to on the phone. Was there a moment when you got here, whether it's this spring or maybe in kind of the winter workouts where you realized who your, who your new coach was? Yeah. Um. At first, I was like, yeah, it's my coach, Coach Venables. But it's like once he actually start talking about the game and start, it's like, whoa. Like, he'll literally break everything down to a T and be like, why is this? Why is that? Or he'll literally, or we be in scout, and he'll tell you what you're doing wrong from the other side looking this way. So it's like, you got to listen to him. Like, you really got to pay attention because he's trying to put you in the best position to make plays. You talked about Coach Roof and the relationship that you guys have you're from Georgia. Um, what, being that you're from that state, have you seen kind of, uh, and, and coming up to Oklahoma, have you seen with the SEC move and all that, is there more of a buzz in that state for the Sooners down there than there used to be? Yeah, no. I, I definitely say it's been a definitely like a huge buzz because we're trying to get my dog Kaden Lee, from Georgia, so I definitely say, yeah, it's been a buzz because we got to get them guys from the South. You mentioned there's no depth chart. Can you talk about just the rapport in that cornerback's room, how you guys are competing but learning together? And I wanted to ask you about DJ Graham's interception last year. Do you remember that pick, seeing that pick that he had? Yeah, I seen it. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody has seen it. Yeah, it was crazy. DJ has been working, like, his tail off. Of course, he's installed. We've been in a new defense and stuff like that, and everybody's learning. But it's like going back to you. There's no animosity behind none of that. It's just we all working. So if you want to play five guys, we'll play all five, <laughs> five, six, or even twenty if we had a depth chart for But yeah, just go to show. Like it's all just one team. It's one bond. You talked about coming into a situation where no one was sort of the concrete starter yet. Did it help at all with deciding to come here knowing that there's new coaching staff, sort of like a fresh start for you almost? Um, 
No, not really. Because, I mean, you got to work to get what you want. So, I definitely feel like there's really no favorites to nothing. If you can really outwork the guy to it's like there's no there's no chance of why he should not play, then the guy's going to play at the end of the day, regardless if you like the guy or you don't like the guy. Can you talk about your visit the first time you came to Oklahoma on your official? Oh, and just kind of what stood out to you or, you know, anything that, like, where you kind of figured, okay, this is kind of where you wanted to be? What stood out to me, it was that we didn't take pictures to the last five minutes. So that was like my most important thing to me. Like I didn't really care about the pictures and stuff like that. Like all oh, that's cool. I just like, I want to understand like who these people are. Cause I mean, this is my second home. This is going to be my second home for the next, or really for the rest <laughs> of my life. <laughs> so I just definitely felt like once I got that home, like that home feeling to where it's like, okay, I can make a phone call to Coach Rue for, for Lyle or anybody on the staff, period, to be like, okay, like I'm going through something. I'm like, let's talk or let's come meet me somewhere. And just stuff like that. So once I got that, because like I said, football is going to always take care of itself. If you always handling your business and doing everything the right way. So I was just like, yeah, I got, I got to do it. You talk about Brent and that initial conversation and football being at the very end of it. Mm -hmm. uh, what were some of the things, well, one, how important was it to have that given everything you talked about going through last year? And two, what were some of the things that were said in that that you go, oh, this is maybe a little bit different from the recruiting pitch you're hearing from other places? Um, he talked about a lot of deep stuff. I, <laughs> I couldn't even really like name, I couldn't really name a lot of stuff on the top of my or, head. Or once you got here, how much different has it been, the, the structure of things, you know, whether it's the, the soul mission stuff or, or anything else that's sort of player focused. And, you know, Brent's talked a lot about, you know, making sure that that relationship isn't transactional yeah. between the players and the coaches. Yeah, definitely. I feel like that, that soul mission is one really thing that like, I've really been paying attention to a lot because I didn't get that last year. It wasn't still, it wasn't like, it wasn't like people didn't care over there, but it's like they wasn't enthusiastic to where they had so missions and certain activities where you go here and interact with kids. Like we got this Miami service that we going to and we helping kids out and stuff like that. So I definitely feel like that's one of the things that caught my eye because I've never done no stuff like that. So it was definitely. You mentioned that. Yeah, you gotta wrap up. Last, last one. Yeah. You mentioned that um, obviously making the move over here is a big life decision, and just in addition to the whole football aspect of things. So, who are some people you had in your corner to help you make that uh, decision? What was that process like? Um, I definitely had, you know, Mama always gonna be in the back as my right hand man, but Mama, Dad, even my coach, my head coach from high school, behind his decision. And like I said, that that connection with Coach Roof. And my head coach, shout out to Coach White, but that helped me definitely make my decision. It was like, it was a lot easier, especially knowing with my head coach from high school, it was a lot easier making my decision. Thanks, I appreciate it. Appreciate it, man.